The cancers that tend to have very high mutational rates, those cancers are the ones that seem to respond the best to immunotherapy. Uh, if you look at the list of cancers that have the highest mutational rates, they tend to be the tumors that are exposure or carcinogen related tumors. For instance, at the top of the list is melanoma. UV light exposure increases the risk of melanoma. Lung cancer from smoking. Bladder cancer is also high up there. Uh, certain tumors like cervical cancer, head and neck cancers that might be associated to certain viruses that might be causing mutations. Those are the types of cancers that tend to respond the best to immunotherapy. That's not to say that cancers that are lower on the mutational spectrum won't respond. It's just that we have to find a way to manipulate the immune system further by better education. For instance, giving a vaccine first or giving chemotherapy or a potent therapy that will kill cancer cells to release all these abnormal proteins so that then you can follow up with immunotherapy that can then stimulate your immune system to go after all those new targets. There's all different types of immunotherapies, but I'm just going to, in general, mention the fact that it's different than chemotherapy. Chemotherapy or traditional cytotoxic chemotherapy is meant to kill rapidly dividing cells of course, cancer cells divide very rapidly, but there are other normal healthy cells in your body that divide rapidly as well. And I'll say the unique thing about immunotherapy is that for most patients, it's much less toxic than chemotherapy. It has fewer side effects, and there are a lot of patients that have no side effects.